Hi. So this is what a Saturday off looks like. I have my coffee. I'm working on my computer. Things are happening. Road Rouge with Roddy. Yeah. This morning I woke up and I got ready as normal and I literally, literally was putting on my shoes and my jacket and I checked my phone because I always charge it in the morning because you know iPhones are not supposed to be charged overnight. And I literally saw a text message from our COVID compliance manager, Q. And he was like, did you get my email? And I was like, oops, did I miss something? So I go onto my email and little known fact to me, my COVID test came back P -p -p positive. So safe than sorry. Better good than naughty. I am off for today. And I went this morning to take two more tests, as protocol says. So I take a rapid, then I take a 24-hour PCR, and we cross our fingers and hope to God that it's a false positive. So I am pleased to report that the rapid came back negative. So I think I'm pretty much on track for a false positive pending... I don't have any symptom flare-ups. Um, I don't feel a thing right now, but, and that is good news. So it is a blessing in disguise. I won't lie to you. I definitely, definitely am behind on a couple things. Um, like I don't have a subletter for my apartment yet. I have to book out this film shoot I'm doing for my web series Neighbors. Um, it's like an interview documentary style thing we're putting together that should be released this spring. So uh, I'm kind of just gonna hit the ground running now with, you know, my coffee and my computer and enjoy this extra day off this weekend. Okay. LOL guys, watching the Princess Diaries. But you know, today actually, as much as I would love to be in rehearsal because there's so much, ooh, don't mind my acne medicine. Um, <laughs> as much as I would love to be in rehearsal today because, you know, they're doing so much today. They're working through all that was done with Act 1, choreography-wise, and they're working on backstage romance in Act 2. It is okay because I can say the one blessing that did come out of this, fingers crossed, hopefully false positive COVID test result I got today is that... I was already planning to go take my dad out for his birthday. His birthday was on Thursday. And I was planning to take him after rehearsal today to see Tina the Musical on the Broadway. And now that I've had my day free, I got a chance to catch up on a couple things. Not really as much as I wanted to, but I'll still take it a little extra time. I'll probably dive back in late tonight and see him with a little more energy. Hopefully we get to stop at a couple fabric stores to find some material for my opening night outfit for the Rouge. My dad is a clothing designer, now retired, and he is incredible at what he does. And I'm very excited to see if we can cook up something stylish and fierce and bomb and fresh for opening night, so. Oh, not me trying not to fall on this black ice. I wouldn't say I'm early, but I also wouldn't say I'm late, but I'm heading to Penn Station, New York to pick up my dad. Then we're gonna explore a little bit. He doesn't know we're going to see Tina the musical tonight. It's a surprise. It's been probably a minute since he and I have connected and hung out in New York City. I think the last show we saw together was Aladdin for his birthday a couple years ago, pre-pandemic. I like to surprise him on his birthdays as much as I can. He's done so much for my family and he is literally thebomb.com. So any chance I can spoil him, I try to. And today's that day. So a little blessing. We're gonna meet up and explore a little bit. Fabric shop for opening night. Luke's and just have dinner and see the show. It's gonna be fun. Maybe seeing a show tonight will lift me up a little bit and reset me. Say hi, Pap. Who's that? Hi. 
Happy, happy everything. This is your, <laughs> this is your jam. We're in the fabric store <laughs> looking for opening night material. Well, material for my opening night look. So we're going to spice it up for him. All right? Uh huh. When Jazz up to belted, double breasted, you know, sleek and got a lot of swagger to it. Yep. That's what we like. Yep. Red undertone. Uh huh. That's good. But if it goes, so this color if it goes gray or ashy looking, uh -huh. that's not good. <laughs> right? Because, like, what about like a. Do you like think like a red family, family or no? You like that too? I don't know. That's nice though. Um, so you really like that? Between those two? Like between this one? This one's nice too. I know. It's a little Is dark, it too but, winter? But I know. It doesn't look, it looks kind of dark. But you, you could wear this in the springtime. Right. And you mm -hmm. Mm. It actually doesn't look that dark, though. You know. Well, I guess maybe because of the camera. Hello? Um, it looks much lighter on the camera on than the it camera, does right? on, on real life. Right, it's so winter, though. It's so classic. It is winter. It's very winter. I, I need a coat in this fabric. I mean, you. I mean, you made I mommy jacket. Right here. Hmm? So that green is the winner. Okay, we, we love that. And interfacing. Okay, yep. that's a good one. Uh, well, my, my wool coat is wool on the outside, of course, lining on the other side. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Give him. Unless you have something with a pattern in it, like you feel. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check it. This is going to be good. The pattern might be nice, right? Huh? Yeah, for the lining. Okay. The lining has to be right because you don't settle for any lining. We do not settle for any lining. The right. lining has to be right. And, Okay, <laughs> never forget, it has to be correct. Because right. you want to look good on the inside as well as the outside. So uh -huh. The inside of the garment needs to look as good as the outside. Uh huh. And it helps you feel good when you put it on and wear it. Right. All right? You so, what are, we, what are we finding something here? No. No? Not even over no. here? We could do. Um, My dad is the best, he doesn't play. That brown, yeah, that's it's, di it's different for under for underneath. I mean, because you won't really see it because it's inside right. the suit, right? Right. Sure. Yeah, that's different. That's nice, right? That's different. Let's do that. Wow, just ripped it. It doesn't want to go back. Don't make me go back in there. Say, <laughs> so buy the whole roll, psych. Okay, okay. Then you need interfere. Success. Opening night material secured, period. Carol King. Oh. It's dark. I am on my block heading home. Just got back from seeing Tina the musical on Broadway. It was very good. I got to see Kayla Davion play the iconic Tina Turner. And let me tell you, sis sings down, like sings down. I'm crying because she sings down. It's actually just really cold. Um, yeah, so it was a good day. We checked some amazing boxes. I must say having an extra day off was not the worst thing in the world. I got to hang with my dad for his birthday, which I missed earlier this week. I got material for my opening night outfit. The show was great. Gonna go back and continue doing some editing. Oh, I think I found my light finally. Yeah, good things. All good things. Can't complain. And, and to ice the cake, I am so happy to report that my rapid test and my PCR both came back negative. So I'm still crying because I don't have COVID and I basically lost a full day of rehearsal for nothing, but better safe than sorry, because COVID is still COVIDing. So happy, happy, happy evening, and onward we go.